Coming to you from Radnor, Pennsylvania, this is your weekly news update. Hi, I'm Brittany Palmer with news about what's going on at and around Cabrini College. And I'm Casey Semenza, and this is your weekly news update. A Cabrini College graduate program has been getting some praise lately. The Masters of Science and Leadership program at Cabrini College was named one of the most affordable organizational behavior graduate degree programs in the nation by Human Resources MBA. Cabrini was also commended for its program's design to accommodate full-time working professionals. The Cabrini Master of Science and Leadership program offers hybrid and online courses that can be completed in two years with part-time study. A local Philadelphia brewery has been the center of conversations during the past week, and it's not because of delicious beer. Dock Street Brewery announced that they will be brewing anti-Donald Trump beer to extend a little nod of solidarity to friends, fans, and neighbors that also believe the country deserves better representation on a national and international platform in the race to be Commander-in-Chief. One featured drink on the list is called the Short-Fingered Stout, which Dock Street describes as bitter and delusional with an airy, light-colored, head atop a so-so body. This brewery appears to be no friend of Trump's. Here at Cabrini Online and hybrid classes are really starting to become more common. Student and faculty alike gave their opinion on the ups and downs of taking an online or hybrid course. Check out this new and interesting way of learning. What I recommend for students when they're thinking about taking an online class or a hybrid class is to really try as much as they can to see how their own semester is going to play out. So it all comes down to how much time you can dedicate to a class. Are you used to doing a lot of intensive individual learning? Okay. And are you able to stay on top of all of the assignments when they're due, the quality that's required, and being able to obtain feedback electronically. The process to sign up for an online class or even a hybrid is the same as it is for any type of course. One, a so-called brick and mortar course that meets in the classroom for the 15 weeks of the semester, it's the same. I took online world religions. It was an online class um, about world religions. Every month we would pick a different religion and we would analyze it and have blogs about it. Compared to the freshman courses, it was way heavier, but compared to the major courses I'm taking for math, it's way lighter. If the students are able to manage themselves, um, then I'd strongly suggest you to get an online class because it gives you a lot more freedom as long as you're able to deal with it by yourself. If not, go for a course like a standard lecture course. The first time I took a U.S. survey to U.S. history, a lot of the stuff we had to do was online. However, we still had lecture in class, and so our professor would, you know, we go over the stuff we need to go over, and then he'd give us uh, quizzes um, and papers and stuff that we had to submit online. But it's really helpful for kids who are taking hard classes that have them out of their rooms left and right, so they're just running them ragged. And the plus side about an online class is that it's a lot more flexible. My strategy is first to make sure that they see what the syllabus is and to see, you know, what's expected in the class. Um, this way, if they want to, you know, um, do some of the assignments in a different order or however they might want to do it, they have the ability to be able to do that. The pros for hybrid are, as I said before, that you have online um, research and, and uh, students can do it on their own time. I think that is really um, valuable for a lot of students, and but then they also can touch base with the instructor. The one argument that I will make against online courses depends on what type of content that is going to be delivered. There are things that cannot be done online where people would have commonly sat in a room and been able to experience those aha moments when their classmates said something really, really brilliant, you know that's not able to be done online. So that's one of the, the very few, but I think important drawbacks to a completely online experience. I think more and more students are, are liking it a lot. Um, it, it's just the way of the future. I think all schools are doing it and I think it's, I think it's a positive. Taking an online or hybrid course looks like a nice thing to try here at Cabrini. 
students can join the Cabrini Community Unity Week from April 3rd to the 9th to celebrate cultures, gender, and races. Get some friends together for a photo shoot celebrating individual and collective identities, spread the love for Student Athlete Appreciation Day, and find fun entertainment with Moda Del Vivo's annual student fashion show. These and other events during Unity Week are a great way to honor the diverse Cabrini community. A great way to have a voice in the 2016 presidential election is to vote on April 26th in the Democratic and Republican Pennsylvania primaries. If you can't make it to the polls on April 26th, the deadline to apply for an absentee ballot is April 19th at 5 p.m. If you are a college student who lives out of state, you can still vote in the Pennsylvania primary as long as you registered to vote in the state of Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is the third largest state left to vote this primary season, so make your voice heard April 26th. Thanks for watching News on Location. Make sure to follow us on all of our social media platforms by simply searching Location News. I'm Brittany Palmer. And I'm Casey Semenza. Have a great week, Cabrini.